Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on Stratpo software. In the previous lecture, I have showed you how to customize the quick access toolbar. So let's now complete the remaining part of our model. In our case, the height of the ground floor is kept as 9 feet 6 inches and height of the typical floor is 11 feet. You might have generally noticed that the height of the ground floor is generally lesser as compared to the height of typical floor. This is because the ground floor which is generally used for the parking space is kept as an open story. So during the time of earthquake, the partition walls which are provided at the typical floor level will somewhat act like a shear wall and provide some stiffness during earthquake. However, at the ground floor, since it is an open story and we do not have any partition walls, so at the time of earthquake, the ground floor will act like a soft story. So in order to avoid the soft story at the ground floor, we generally reduce the size of the columns at the ground floor level. So this will prevent the soft story. So now activate the side view. Now click on the node cursor option and select all these nodes at the plinth level. Confirm the selected nodes from the isometric view. Yes, you can see that all the nodes at the plinth level have been selected. Now go to geometry and click on the translational repeat option. In the y direction, we will copy all these nodes at a distance of 9 feet 6 inches which is 9.5 feet and click on link steps option. As you can see that the columns for the ground floor have been created. Now again select the side view and select the node cursor option. Select all these top nodes. Now again go to the translational repeat option. Now this time in the y direction we will copy these nodes at a distance of 11 feet which is nothing but the height of the typical floor level. The number of steps that we will take is 7. Since our building is a G plus 7 floors residential building, so there are 7 floors above the ground floor. Click on the link step option and click on OK. So as you can see that columns for all the floor levels have been created that is ground floor, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and the seventh floor. Now click on the side view, select all these plinth beams like this. Now click on the translational repeat option. In the y direction we will move a distance of 9.5 feet and click on OK. So this is the ground floor slab. Activate the side view. Select this ground floor slab like this. Now click on the selected objects view and then click on the top view. So this is the plan of the ground floor slab. Now we need to add the additional beams for these partition walls of the bathroom. So we already have a beam which is connecting this column and this column. So what we will do is we need to copy the beam which is already there at a distance of 5 feet 6 inches. The width of the bathroom here is 5 feet and considering the half of this wall and half of this wall so that will correspond to 5 feet 6 inches that is 3 inches from this side and 3 inches from this side. So we need to copy this beam at a distance of 5 feet 6 inches in order to create a beam for supporting this wall and we will extend this beam up to here. Similarly for this bathroom as well we will copy this beam at a distance of 5.5 feet. So select this beam and select this beam 
now press control c and control v from the keyboard in the x direction type 5.5 feet and click on ok now we also need a beam to support this wall which is at a distance of 9 feet from this beam so what we will do is we will copy the nodes of this and this at a distance of 9 feet in order to get this beam and we will extend this beam up to here and similarly for this bathroom as well so first of all select the node cursor select these two nodes and select these two nodes as well now press ctrl c and ctrl v from the keyboard in the z direction we will go at a distance of 9.5 feet that is 9 feet is the length of this bathroom and half of this wall and half of this wall so it is minus 9.5 feet since we are going in the negative z direction so we will type here minus 9.5 feet and click on ok so now the nodes have been created so let's add the beam connecting these two nodes so from the geometry tab click on the add beam option and click on these two nodes and click on these two nodes so now we have added the walls for these two bathrooms similarly there is a beam that is already present on these two columns so we need to create a beam to support this wall so copy this beam at a distance of 4 feet that is 3 feet 6 inches is the width of this common toilet and 3 inches from this side and 3 inches from this side so it will be together 4 feet and similarly from this side as well so select these two beams and press ctrl c ctrl v from the keyboard in the x direction type minus 4 feet since we are going in the negative x direction and click on ok so now we have added the beams for this wall and for this wall we can neglect this wall since the length of this beam is very less that is around 3 feet 6 inches so we will neglect this beam so now let's add the beam to support this balcony so first of all we will add the cantilever beam which is projecting at a distance of 3 feet from this column and this column and similarly from these three columns as well select this node select these two nodes and select the last node like this now go to translation repeat option in the z direction we will copy these nodes at a distance of minus 3 feet since the width of the balcony is 3 feet click on the link steps option and click on ok so these are the cantilever beams for supporting the balcony let's add the beam so this is the balcony for this bedroom similarly these are the balconies for the bedroom and the guest room now we will also create the balcony uh, beams for the balcony to support this master bedroom and this master bedroom as well so width of the balcony here is 5 feet so select the node cursor select these two nodes and select these two nodes now click on the translation repeat option in the z direction the spacing is 5 feet and click on the link steps option and click on ok so let's now add beam
so now we have created the beams to support the balconies so now click on the display whole structure option activate the side view now select this ground floor slab like this now again go to translational repeat in the y direction the typical floor height is 11 feet and the number of steps is 7 and click on ok so this is how we will create the model so guys that's all for this video you can like share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future update for this practical course see you in the next video